Thank you for the uh, Kyoto University who facilitating this valuable event, and uh, we're supposed to uh, present uh, with my uh, head of uh, Bureau of Cooperation. Unfortunately, he is she is a uh, uh, due to the health condition she could not attend. So regret uh, to that. So uh, my presentation will be joint research project in Indonesian biodiversity for promoting international research activities. Okay, so our presentation will be divided into three. The first is the background, and the second is the, some example of the collaboration of the project on biodiversity between Indonesia and our partnerships. And the last one will be the conclusion. So, why is it Indonesia and why is it so why is it Indonesian and biodiversity? As uh, we know that Indonesia is the largest archipelago country in the world, so covering uh, more than uh, almost 70,500 islands, yeah, covering area of 4,500 kilometers squares, uh, which is uh, similar to 1.2% of uh, the Earth's surface. We're also the third largest country of biodiversity in the world, after Brazil and Republic of Congo, uh, that we have uh, more than 70% 70, 70 of world total numbers variety, including plants, mammalians, amphibian and reptiles, bird and fish, uh, is uh, endemic into our countries. And also, we are also designated as biodiversity hotspot, which means high priority for bio biodiversity conservations. So according to Norman Mayer in his publication on nature uh, on uh, to February 2000s, uh, Norman uh, stated that uh, Indonesia is one of 25 hotspots in, uh, in the world, which is you can see from, it is from Sundaland, Sundaland in, and Wallacea Land, it's a Indonesian uh, location there. So, uh, why is it uh, Indonesian identified as one of biodiversity hotspot? It is because, because we see that exceptional concentration of endemic species uh, are undergoing exceptional loss of habitats. So, uh, Indonesia, uh, Sunderlands and Wallacea lands is a uh, top five highest priority for its endemic uh, of fauna and flora. So it is the reason why uh, research on biodiversity are very important to Indonesia. Okay, so LIPI, uh, this is the main building of our headquarters in Jakarta. And uh, the other pictures uh, below is uh, President Sukarno, our first president when he in ceremonial inaugurated the botanical garden which is a historical route from uh, for uh, Lipi itself so our vision is to be world-class research institutions which is creating great science to promote application of science and role of Indonesia in international arena and also part of an effort to develop the knowledge based society so we are a, a non -ministerial, ministerial government institutions established in 19, 1967 we are the oldest and the largest research institute in Indonesia. Our chairmen are directly uh, responsible to the president. Uh, we are located in 11 provinces. We have 26 research centers, 16 technical implement implementation units, four bureaus including our bureaus, two international centers and four botanical gardens under LIPI management. Uh, we have around 1,540s for researchers which is the biggest number in Indonesia. We are also leading patent contributor in Indonesia and top 5% worldwide for Weber metrics. Okay, so LIPI uh, play important role on biodiversity uh, research and strongly contribute on the national biodiversity actions plan and actively promoting global research partnership on biodiversity. LIPI is scientific authority for governing body for researcher nationwide in Indonesia we give granting uh, research professorship. We also accredited for Inter Indonesian scientific journals. Uh, we also scientific authority for conservation of biodiversity in Indonesia as stated in Indonesia regulations. 
Uh, we also scientific authority for management of botanical garden constructions and management and scientific measurement testing. Okay, so why is it bilateral research cooperation is very important uh, because we could develop hum of human, our, hum human resources through capacity building such as study training exchange of scientists, visiting experts and other activities. We also develop of research utilization such as exhibition, dissemination research result. It's also develop of research facilities and infrastructure such as building, laboratory, tools, database. It's also encourage international publication such as published paper, journal, joint project and also patent. And also uh, strengthening networking uh, of LIPI between global partnerships. So it's become highly recognized. Okay, so the fact and the figure. So um, we have uh, from 2010 and 2014, the number of uh, LIPI internal collaboration is uh, 52 MOUs and the largest number is from Japan. So Japan is our main partnership for international cooperation. And for the area cooperation, the largest also the natur natural science. Uh, so, okay. And then, so LIPI Japan Bata Research Corporations um, uh, established since 1978, uh, which started with Japan Society for the Promotion of Sciences. Uh, and then, to, since 1995, the government of Japan has implemented a wide range of cooperation projects on biodiversity conservation in Indonesia. So this is a main uh, partner uh, for LIPI in collaborating research, such as JICA, JST, NITE, and BRC, and Kyoto University. We have also two projects which is very successful under the uh, RIS and TSEAS. So. Uh, it's very successful project in humanity science and also in uh, life sciences. We're also partnering with other universities in Japan. So now uh, we come to the second uh, phase. So uh, some example of collaboration on biodiversity for promoting research activities. So this is uh, the one which is funded by the government of Japan. This is a biodiversity conservation project. It's a grain aid uh, for building research facility for geological deficiency uh, and technical corporations. So uh, we call it Museum Zoological Bogoriensi, which is its world-class facilities for specimen collections. So this is the new building, which is uh, inaugurated uh, by our vice president, Trisutrisno Trisno, on July uh, 1997. 1997. So it is the top 10 largest fauna specimen reference collections in the world and it's located in our campus, another campus, Chibino Science Centers, and hold around 2.7 million of fauna specimens um, covering geological collections of mollusca, mammals, birds, insects, fish, amphibian reptiles, and specimens of other inter invertebrates. So the, uh, you see the picture below is uh, the old building yeah? and then after um, uh, the grain and the project so the new building has become, uh, uh, have you, you seen the pictures. Yeah. And the second is the Herbarium Bogoriensis uh, and Microbial Culture Collection. It is also world class facilities. Uh, the project are also funded by the Japan government for improvement of research facility for biodiversity conservation and utilization and integrated by our president, Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono, on May to, uh, 2007. So it is Green and Technical Cooperation Project uh, on Management Biodiversity. So this is the whole of the building, the new building has been built in our campus. You can see the specimen, the uh, collections from our herbarium. This is the laboratory uh, that has been established. And uh, you can see the pictures uh, on the top is the old building and become the new building. And it's the second largest reference collection of her herbarium specimen in the world. So it's hold about 2 million specimen of plants from Malaysia regions, consisting of dried specimen collections, spirit collection, and you can see, etc. Okay, I'm <laughs> spinning up time. 
Okay, so this is another example. Uh, we have partnership also with United States in Mekonga Expeditions, uh, which is in South Sulawesi area. And our research activities is in biodiversity, in biodiversity inf inventory, microbial survey, discovery of fungi and solution, discovery of human health, local conservation, education, and outreach. The project result is a, a very, very beneficial. It's discovery of new genus and species of flora and fauna. Uh, example, the giant wasps, Megalara garuda, which is endemic to our country, discovery of potential plants, microbes for medicine and bioenergy, development of database, capacity building, publications and dissemination of research results, and recommendation of Mekonga as a designated conservation area for national park and biosip research, strengthening international networking opportunities to open the project. So below are the picture, some picture that has been done in these expeditions. And with Japan partnership, in NITE, we have a collaborative research on conservation and sustainable use of microbial resources, which is uh, that uh, the project proposes to carry out research cooperation based on mutual trust with the aim to establish conservation and sustainable use for microbial resources. Some research activities like collection of sample, isolations, duplication, identifications are doing, are conducting in this project. So the result of the project, such as number identified micro microorganism, which is from Indonesia, number of publications, uh, capacity building for the uh, in, uh, LIPI researchers. Another project is the SAPRA project, which is uh, uh, launched by JAKA and JST in terms to promote uh, collaboration between developed country in several areas. Uh, and this is, uh, is the milestone for LIPI, uh, the Development Indonesian Culture Collections. So this is the Southeast Asia largest national depository for center microorganisms. Uh, last year was been integrated by our vice presidents. Uh, so this is the new building and this is very, very important uh, for Indonesia because the utilization uh, uh, for the microbe itself uh, for commercialization and non-commercialization is very important. So the purpose of the project is to facilitate an exit to conservation of Indonesian microbial, provide Indonesian microbial resources and development potential use, develop infrastructures, uh, it can be a laboratory of depository of microorganisms and also create partnership between cultural collection centers. So on the conclusions, uh, from the example that um, we have uh, so far that uh, it, in brief, uh, we could say that improving the collaboration project uh, between LIPI and other partners, it could improve the quality of research through the development of Indonesian human resources, which is uh, in line with LIPI scientists and uh, LIPI scientists in the related field of research. It also strengthening of research facilities to support management of research institutions in Indonesia encouraging Indonesia or LIPI international publication, invention and patents, strengthening the position of Indonesia, in this case is LIPI in the field as entry through international research activities, regional and international. It's also expanding and strengthening LIPI network with scientific communities and partnerships at the national and global scales. And also the more important is discovery of Indonesian natural resources and development at the database, and also opportunities to open or expand your project collaborative research. Okay, thank you very much. I will be glad if there is any further comments or maybe we could share after all. Thank you.